Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a Ballantine's blended whiskey, blended scotch whiskey here on my cask and well, this was a mistake. Uh, well, I typically do not taste these blended whiskies often, but in this case the bottle had a crack at the bottom, so I got the bottle this way and everywhere it was wet and smells from the whiskey and I said well I have to taste it now and uh, the card box was already wet soaked up and uh, yeah but I got most of it out of the bottle so here's the rest <laughs> and Valentine's very old age 21 years established 1827 and in the year 1895 they received the Royal Varound from the British Crown and they were able to supply uh, the Crown. Yeah, um, They were brothers, George Ballantyne and Sons Limited and the story of Ballantyne's is one of knowledge, experience, craftsmanship and dedication handed down through the five generations of master blenders. Ballantyne's 21 years old is a distinguished whiskey characterized by its maturity and subtle layering of fruit, delicate floral hints and aromatic spices. With its sparkling reddish gold color, yeah, satin smooth body and long mellow finish, it is a whiskey for the true connoisseur. Yeah. 40% ABV and uh, the Ballantine's distillery uh, was, no there is no distillery, it's a bland facility and it is situated in Dumbarton at the northern shore of the Clyde uh, west of Glasgow and uh, there you see warehouses where the geese are patrolling for uh, locating the thieves at night and uh, yeah, there's a huge red brick building uh, which contained in former years uh, also a malt whiskey distillery, but this was <clears throat> long ago dismantled. And yeah, and then the Ballantines brand moved over to Allied Distillers and then moved on today, probably at Pernod Ricard, but I'm not quite sure. The 21 years old is reasonably priced around 80 euros, dollars, pounds and has an ABV of 40%. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's called a premium blend. What does that mean? Well, it means that the number of bottles is quite low and that there is a master blender uh, blending those malts from different distilleries and the grains uh, together to have a, well, um, creative work, not a selection work from different malt whiskey casts, but a creative work, an artisan work uh, for producing a blended whiskey. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, I'm afraid the color, uh, I think it's artificially colored. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, if it is or if it is not. Uh, it is old enough that the color might be uh, the real one. <sighs> There's a floral, floral, fruity aroma, very prominent. Some juicy apple. Sweet vanilla. Caramel, 30 years of age. And, well, it does not smell and taste or smell as a sherry cask maturation or a lot of sherry casks in it. It smells like a, <clears throat> well, a, a typical Highland malt, but it's so complex, so several typical Highland malts. And there is a very light smoky nose in the depth. So it's complex, it's elegant, it's not spicy in the nose, it's pleasant. Yeah, 
Very good. Gentle and smooth on the tongue, but then after some seconds, spiciness kicks in, the cask, cask are coming through, and well, there's some <clears throat> licorice, yeah, some krautiness. <laughs> you know that means it's this not as spicy as the wood spiciness, the oakiness is, but there's some. Uh, complex spiciness uh, as well, which is not that intense. So herbs, yeah. Vanilla, caramel. No surprise, it's 21 years old. The aftertaste is quite long, smooth, some dried fruits, and well, <coughs> one part is turning to sweet and the other part is turning <laughs> <laughs> to a little citrus note. Yeah, so this is a wonderful drum. And it shows the, the oiliness of grain whiskey. So the grain uh, ferments and distills differently to the uh, malt whiskey. And there's a special uh, oiliness to the grain. And typically the grain comes with a lot of bitterness uh, coming from the cask because grain whiskey is very rarely matured perfect in a perfect way. Typically they use casks forever, forever, forever. 10 times for three years is not seldom. So the cask gives around 30 years uh, some taste. Then there will be a rejuvenation and another 30 years coming out of the cask. So there's a lot of uh, cask influence in the grain whiskey, but very few uh, taste from, from, the, from the cereal, from the corn, from the, bar uh, not the barley, but typically it's wheat. In former times they used maize, but the yield coming out of wheat is higher than of the maize. Yeah, so there's oiliness and uh, alongside with the bitterness. So it's a an elegant, complex, fruity, smooth whiskey with an oaky edge in the middle. After some seconds, if you swallow uh, the blended whiskey. And then the bitterness turns into complexity, into warmth. A wonderful piece of work. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video with your friends and stay tuned. There's more to come. Thank you.